Hello, welcome to an explanation of what's in the Faithful Dog Sculpture Kit. These kits can be purchased as an individual kit, a duo, so two kits within the one box, or as a family and friends box of four. Uh, you can mix between the sculpture kits that I sell, so this is a dog, we've also got a sleeping cat and the original hair. Enjoy. Hello, I'm going to explain what's inside of the Faithful Dog Clay Sculpture Kit. The only thing that you're going to need to provide are a couple of bowls, any sorts of bowls. One is going to contain some water and the other one will have this cloth that's in the kit. You will dampen it and cover the clay as you work with clay and that means it won't dry out. So they're the two things that you're going to need to supply. In the kit you have what I call a little armature. It's just foil with some aluminium wire wrapped around and two spikes coming out the front. It almost looks like a caterpillar against the black background there. And this is so you can create a sleeping dog with paws coming out of the front. I do explain in a separate video that comes with the kit on how to make a sculpture of your own dog. I choose the sleeping pose because whatever the variety of dog that you have, the breed of dog you have, um, on the whole they have a similar sleeping curved pose that is easier to make than something that is standing or sitting up. So you have your armature, you have instructions, written instructions complete with photographs showing you photographs from two videos that come with the kit as well. One where I make a grey hound, which is this grey hat, and the other one is where I make a cockapoo. It's the same principle for making your own dog. There's a scale template and a ruler within the kit and this allows you to get things like the head the right size, the hips the right size and I explain in the kit videos how to make a scale template of your own dog. You have a pack of clay, this is quality air drying clay, it's reinforced, it's got nylon pieces within it and you'll see those when you're actually making your sculpture. That's vacuum packed and that when you take it out will be wrapped up with this cloth that is in the kit and go into one of the bowls. If you need to stop doing your sculpture at any point during um, the time that you're making it, um, in the kit you have a biodegradable bag and that goes over your damp cloth that contains both your clay and your sculpture and I explain all of that in the video. You have a board and two pieces of wax paper that you will tape onto the board, one for when you're actually making the clay sculpture and one when you're painting it and that wax paper stops the sculpture from sticking to the board. You have sculpture tools, boxwood and a good old bamboo pick for making one or two marks which I show you in the, in the video. I'll explain how to dry out your um, sculpture. You don't need a kiln or anything, you can either let it air dry um, which is basically leave it in a warm place for 24, 48 hours, or you can throw it in the oven. And again, I explain all of that. When it's dry, I'll explain how to deal with any cracks that you may have in, in, the, in the sculpture. 
Then you have a quality paint, this Powertex paint, included in the kit, your paintbrush. And finally, right at the end, you've got this, what looks like a very strange vacuum packed um, blob of gilt, bronze gilt, which is fabulous to use. Um, it looks like I'd be very mean with this, but in fact, you could do 10 sculptures with this little tiny amount. And there's a sponge applicator to put it on. There's, with this kit, three YouTube videos that go with it. The first one will be how to make that scale template of your own dog. So if you have a Labrador, Dachshund, Jack Russell, uh, St Bernard, you should be able to actually create a sculpture of your dog. And I'll show you how to create the scale tem template so um, the, the features will resemble your, your dog. So that's the first of the videos. I then have a video showing how I've made one of these. I've forgotten which one it is now. I think it's this one, uh, which is my cockapoo Tula. So I'll explain how I made her. And then I have a separate video to show how I made a greyhound. And that just shows the very different um, features and how to actually make them on your model. So with the greyhound, lots of sharpness coming in here, a long face, short ears that come quite high up on the head. These sculptures are for enjoying inside. Uh, they can't go outside because they have a base of clay. And although the exterior paint is weatherproof, um, if there's any kind of little tiny cracks or anything, then water will ingress and um, eventually will spoil your sculpture. I hope you enjoy making this kit. It is a fabulous thing to do. I sell the kit in individual um, sculptures, so just one dog, um, two and in four. So um, you can make several of your own dog or you can share it with friends and family. I hope you enjoy making your sculpture.